Welcome back everybody. Good evening, morning, afternoon. The Truman Show style. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, a very interesting subject, which uh, I think you will find interesting. I definitely do. Which is what is my pre slash intra workout ultimate shake. First of all, uh, what is a pre slash intra workout shake? Second of all, uh, why do we take it? You know, what are the goals? What are the benefits? And then I will give you the ingredients, what I think are absolute best. I'm not going to talk about brands. That doesn't matter so much. But the actual ingredients that you can separately buy and put them into your workout. And I will ex explain each one and also what the benefits are. All right. So first of all, let's start at the beginning. Uh, when I started training, this was 20, 21, 22 years ago. Uh, we only had magazines and there was very, very little to no information about supplementation outside of maybe a, a whey protein. And I believe that creatine monohydrate was just coming out. I was already training and I remember reading in magazines creatine, you know, the, the, the big thing and so on. So when I was really starting out, you know, the time that you take the most knowledge, there was no, no mention in the magazines or in the gym where I was training, anything about a pre-workout slash intra-workout. Uh, we did understand the, the value of a post-workout because we knew from, from past generations that uh, after the workout, the body's preference definitely goes towards replenishing, restoring that which has been lost uh, during weight training. So uh, the nutrition part after the workout definitely made sense you know to focus mostly on protein carbohydrates which you lost and so on but really about the pre slash uh, um, during intra workout there was you know th there was not much about it but during the years uh, the knowledge developed a lot and in the beginning i was have to say i was really skeptical i was thinking jesus another another you know a guru who is uh, pushing something uh, for us to buy. I'm already spending a, a ton of money on supplements and health training, everything that goes with it. Now, uh, what is this stuff? So I was very uh, naive in this sense and I learned later my lesson and I really didn't pay enough attention to it. And I believe the first guy that was talking about this was actually Milos Sarchev. And uh, he is, to my knowledge, really the, the initiator, the 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 prime guy the first guy that really focused on pre and during of course post but like i said we knew about that uh, but mostly pre and during nutrition like how do you mean nutrition during right you're training you're not going to be eating so what what is this about but anyway the long story short is it definitely has its benefits and uh, i tried it and i'm doing it and i think whoever has or really focused on making a good intra workout shake, will see huge benefits. And this is not only me saying it, this is, I believe there is also scientific studies done about this, where people take just water during the training, where people take just a little bit of carbohydrates, or where they really take a couple of ingredients which maximize the, the, the output that you are trying to get from the gym. All right, so let's, let's get to it. What is the point? of a pre slash intra workout shake. And I'm combining these two because basically the ingredients are the same. Uh, the only difference is pre-workout, you, you are already sipping uh, on the shake before you start and intra workout is literally between the sets you are sipping on it, but it's the same shake. I make one big bottle of one liter of water, put all the ingredients in and I start sipping on it about 15 minutes before the workout and then all the way throughout my workout. So that's why I call it pre slash intra workout shake because you already start drinking it before. So what is the point of, of such a shake? If you think about it, why do we go to the gym? We want maximal uh, output, maximal muscle, uh, uh, I would just say muscle operation level, right? Maximum strength, ma maximum uh, endurance and maximum level of leverage that we can get out of this workout and therefore we really need to see what would actually benefit 
to bring into the workout, what kind of ingredients and, and nutrients will actually fa fa facilitate us having more energy, better pumps and better delivery of nutrients during the workout. The whole thinking behind it is when you are working out, this is a unique time of the day. Uh, why? Because normally when we are sitting around, a very small amount of blood, which we have circulating, is in our muscles. There is no need for the blood to be in the muscles because we are not doing anything, right? I'm just talking to the camera. There is no need for my blood to be in my quadriceps or in my calf or in my shoulder, right? So that's why people look smaller when they go to the gym. The, the uh, blood goes into the muscle, you are training it, and, and a large, actually majority of your total blood supply actually goes to the muscle that you're training. That's what we call the pump, right? You, you come in, you are cold, you are starting to do your sets of biceps, and you feel your arm grow and grow and grow, and it can, you know, obviously, as you know, bring huge uh, differences in, in amount of blood that is being pumped in. So what is this blood doing? The body knows that when the muscle is active, the cells inside of the muscle are open, meaning they are ready to, to uptake nutrients and energy for this output that you are asking it to do, right? The body doesn't know we are doing it for fun. The body is thinking we are running from lions and, and, and gorillas. We need to survive. We need to deliver absolute best possible energy nutrition to the muscle because the muscle is at work. The factory is working, it needs material, right? So this is a unique time of day where we have the opportunity to shuttle as much as possible of all the goodies, which I will name, which go in the shake, inside of the muscle. If you would drink this shake, uh, the intro workout shake at any other time, all of those nutrients will not be delivered as efficiently and as fully as they are during the training. Why? Because the blood is literally in the muscle and of course, the blood is our transport system of all these nutrients. All right, so what do we need? First thing we need is energy. What kind of energy? We, as you know, in food, we have two kinds of energy. One is fat, one is carbohydrates. Which one do you want to need? Uh, do you want to use for uh, weight training? It is always glucose, meaning carbohydrates. Fats are excellent for low cardiovascular uh, impact, walking, uh, light running, bicycling on a, on, a, on a fixed bike at home. Uh, fat's all right for that, but if you are really exercising in weightlifting, which is a, a form of uh, unaerobic exercise, not aerobic, but unaerobic exercise, it means that the body is burning glucose to get the ATP, to get the energy to supply to the cells. So we really need carbohydrates. What kind of carbohydrates? Well, if you are going to be taking it close to the workout and inside of the workout, the carbohydrates need to be very pre-digested. You can't go eat uh, potatoes or rice, even though they are relatively uh, uh, easily absorbed. It still is going to take 45 to 60 to 75 minutes for rice to be broken down and uptaken. By that time, if you started eating rice during your training, uh, it will already have finished your training. And so you have missed the opportunity to deliver the energy to the muscle. So it has to be a very simple carbohydrate which passes through your system in a matter of minutes where digestion doesn't even play a role and the body can utilize it. And the most simplest form of carbohydrates is always the dextrose molecule, which is exactly the same. One dextrose molecule is exactly the same as one glucose molecule. It is, it is the absolute bottom line if you break carbohydrate down, what is actually uh, uh, coming out of the carbohydrates? It's the glucose slash dextrose molecule. And once, so wh what do you need? We need some kind of dextrose powder. It is already pre-digested. When you put it in water, you mix it. It is super easily absorbed. How do we know? Uh, for example, you have people who have diabetes and you know who have low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, and they fall on the street. They give them these dextro tablets, right? In Netherlands, we have the dextran tablets and you have it everywhere probably in the world, uh, uh, dextro tablets. You give it and you put it under the tongue and uh, the patient comes back to life within three to four minutes. Meaning uh, uh, the, the glucose tablets, the dextrose tablets are already pre-digested and go into the, into the cells super quickly. There is no quicker carbohydrate than that. So the first ingredient is 
dextrose. That gives us the energy for the workout and also most important, it will also raise the insulin. I will explain a little bit later what the advantage of that is, but it will definitely give us the energy that we are trying to give into the muscle. Uh, second, what do we need? I would say it is uh, uh, an essential amino acid supplement. Why essential amino acids? Because just like I explained, uh, uh, carbohydrate sources breaking down into the simplest form being the glucose. Same goes with proteins. Uh, they break down into amino acids and we have over 20 amino acids, but eight or nine of them depends how you look, if, if histidine is part of it, but let's call it eight. Uh, uh, amino acids are absolutely essential, meaning we have to take them in, we can't manufacture them. The other ones are not essential, it means that our body can manufacture them. So whenever the body needs something, it can actually produce, but these eight we actually need to take in. And if you take a, a, a good quality pre-digested essential amino acid, you will supply those amino acids right during training, if you put it in the shake, right in the muscle that you are trying to take. The advantage of that is you are breaking down muscle when you are working out. So when you break it down, what do you need? You need protein to build it back up. So instead of waiting to come back home, have a shower, meet your friend, go to lunch, digest the lunch, and from that get the amino acids, you are already, during training, supplying the essential building blocks, the essential amino acids, to the muscle that you are working out. All right, so the moment the factory starts to work, you immediately supply it with building blocks. That's why it's called bodybuilding. You want to build the muscle up. You need to supply it with energy, and you need to supply it with building blocks, which are the essential amino acids. So I would say the two main ingredients, your bread and butter of, uh, of uh, intra-workout shake should always be a quick carbohydrate source. Uh, I prefer dextrose, uh, some prefer maltodextrin, whatever other names are. Some people prefer gummy bears, but usually it is a very, very uh, highly quickly absorbable carbohydrate because it is intra-workout. You don't want the blood to go into your digestion system. Second of all, you need to provide essential amino acids and there is simply no better supplement than essential amino acids. They do not break down into other stuff. Those are the bare bones of amino acids. Those are the building blocks of life, literally. DNA and every, every single cell is made out of proteins. So the more we can supply during the training, because the blood is already in the muscle, that's why this period of, of day is very important, the better it is. All right, so those would be my two main sources or let's say ingredients for this ultimate intra workout shake dextrose and essential amino acids how much dextrose i usually go between 100 and 150 grams but that, that depends on the intensity of your workout length of your workout what kind of muscle are you working out uh, if you're training legs you're going to probably need 150 if you are training your shoulders which is a small part maybe it will 75 will enough start with 50 and increase as you go but don't forget the dextrose are carbohydrates so that is energy that counts so you really need to look at your daily calories and account for those calories you can't just put them on top then you will get fed too many calories uh, how many uh, essential amino acids i go for 10 to 15 grams and that is all you need and that will absolutely uh, stop the muscle breakdown it will increase the muscle protein synthesis and start the factory in a positive way to build muscle. Those are the two. The second one, the third one that I have is creatine. Like I said, I, I know this supplement for 20 years. This is the ATP energy. Creatine is usually found in, in meats, in steaks. Unbelievable product. You don't have to cycle it. You can always take it. I take it 10 grams in my intra-workout shake. And it really, really helps for the pumps, for the energy, for the endurance during the workout. So dextrose, essential amino acids, creatine. Then I move on to the glutamine. Glutamine is one of the amino acids that I mentioned that are non-essential, meaning the body can manufacture it, but uh, it is very beneficial for stomach, for digestion, and for the immune system, and for the recovery of the body. The body has no problem manufacturing enough glutamine uh, in a normal situation, but if you are really working out, you are 
stressing the body to such a level that the body will not be able to cope by producing so much glutamine. So taking glutamine, I take 10 grams in my intra workout shake, uh, uh, ensures that glutamine need of the body is actually met. It is a non-essential amino acid, but it is actually situationally depending essential, meaning in some situations it's actually essential, in stressful situations. Uh, I also put a little bit of leucine. Once again, leucine is a part of the essential amino acids. I always just like to ensure that I have leucine because leucine is the only essential amino acid that is actually starting the muscle building factory, the muscle protein synthesis. So I never want to have a shortage of leucine. Uh, do I have enough from the essential amino acid? Yes, but leucine as a supplement is so cheap and so widely available and uh, it would be silly not to put it just as an extra. Uh, then what do I put? So those are already, we have the dextrose, essential amino acids, creatine, uh, glutamine and leucine. I also like to put some, uh, uh, some citrulline, which is for the pump. Uh, I've noticed I've, it definitely works, but because I already have a good carbo uh, carbohydrate load, which releases insulin, shuttles all of this into the muscle, uh, citrulline definitely is welcome but it will not be the mind blower that, that some people expect it to be. But if you can find it cheaply, I can, good quality. I put three to six grams and everything is fine and dandy. And the last one that I have is uh, L-carnitine, which is a good fat burner. Once again, use the situation of carbohydrates, uh, creating an insulin release, uh, creating a wave, I call it a tidal wave, of, uh, of nutrients going into the blood, blood is into the muscle when you are training, all of it will be supremely delivered exactly at the place where it needs to be delivered, the muscle that you are training. So uh, using some L-carnitine is also a good way to deliver some of the fat burning properties of carnitine right during training. But if you are thinking this is a lot of supplements, going to cost me a lot of money, I can agree if you are a little bit tight on budget and you just want to have the bread and butter, not all of the, 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 the bells and whistles, I would recommend dextrose. This is absolutely essential. You need the energy and you need the insulin, which it creates and essential amino acids. Those two will be your bread and butter of an extremely efficient intra workout shake. Everything else, I call it bells and whistles. It helps, it, it, it definitely embellishes everything, gives you more result, but it's not gonna be make or break. But for example, if you have everything else, but you don't have the essential amino acids, the shake lost most of its potency. Amino acids are the building blocks and uh, dextrose carbohydrate is the energy, the insulin creator, which shoves it all in. This is what you need, the rest, uh, you can put all of these things in and you can put probably 15 other things. Uh, that's up to you, up to your budget, up to your level of, of development, how far you want to go. This was my list, uh, and, uh, but I would definitely recommend dextrose essential amino acid. Try it, you will see a huge difference in results between just water during training, just dextrose or dextrose and essential amino acids. This a uh, combination of these two products during the training will minimize muscle loss, maximize muscle production, lower cortisol, increase insulin, all of the things that are beneficial during training. So that is my list of the ultimate, or let's say a really, really high quality intra-workout shake. Try it, you won't be disappointed. Let me know how you do with it. And I will never again train if it's in my power, without essential amino acids and dextrose. All right, guys, there was a lot of information. I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes because then my uh, camera makes a shift. And uh, hopefully it was enjoyable and we'll catch each other in another video.